Hey everybody, it's a big day here at Monkey Wrench Mike because finally the crossfire is going to touch the pavement. Yeah, it's been like almost a week of work and it's all going to end today. All of our hard work is about to come to an end. Yeah, we got the uh, car. Look at that. Yeah, I have a board that's too long, but I got to protect that front bumper. And I want to show you the uh, new wheel, the new, well, the new tire that I got. Okay. She's looking good. Okay. Now, I'm concerned the bumper may hit the front part of the trailer. That's why we have some 2x4s under those front tires. Plan is to start her up and just simply, you know, back her off the trailer. Hopefully, this is the midget. Hopefully, we'll stay away from that one. I do want to show you also, I searched for the stupid lug nut key and look at all the crap that I got. Yeah, this is from under the seats. Like half of the stuff from under the seats. I don't know who had the car before me, but they were a PIG messy person. A very messy person. I think that went pretty well. The bumper stayed on. I'll have to go back and look at the video and see if I screwed it up anymore. All right. You want to go for a little spin around the uh, public storage place? Please don't mind the trash. I've got something beeping and I have to like put my hand in the hole here to close the door. Okay. I didn't know how you got into reverse with this thing, but you have to kind of pull it up and do that. Okay. So let's go to first. I don't know what's... Oh, seatbelt maybe? where that clutch feels nice, actually. And the car turns, see? This, I guess the car still thinks, ooh, 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 ooh. Sorry, this is a little crazy. The car still thinks the brake is on. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Wow. I think she's going to be a pretty fast car when she gets all put together. Holy moly. Gas pedal, gas pedal, Gold star. Gas pedal. The um, steering is all screwed up. Yeah, we're kind of going straight when it's like this. But look at that. Okay. Let's park her right here next to the mighty the mighty real Mercedes. Okay. Brake on. Do the windows work? Hello, window working. Window worky. Does this one work? Okay. Lots of trash. Oh, Chrysler. Chrysler, you're lying to me now. Um push here oh look at that radio works heater works let's turn that off do the windows work let's see can you see that yes sir and that one and that one works too guess who's happy who's a happy camper today me, me, I'm happy. So this is where she will live for a little while next to my other vehicles. I did get a tag, we'll put the tag on her. But I think she looks pretty. She looks really nice. And I do wanna say thank you. I had a viewer send me some information about a car just like this that just happened to be at the LKQ in Oklahoma City. So guess where we're going next? Yeah, that's our next adventure. 
All right, we have arrived. We are outside the LKQ, and we're gonna go and get us some parts for that Chrysler Crossfire. It's a little chilly. All right, let's go inside and have some fun. All right, well, here is where I do my best Sam Crack voiceover impersonation. No, I was too embarrassed to uh, do the microphone work while I was in the junkyard because there was a bunch of people around me, and I didn't want to look like a goober. So anyway, this is the car that I found. This is what it looked like when I first saw it. Lots of good pieces. See the door handle right there, the steering wheel, that door handle, that door card. What else was good? That wheel was good. The headlights had already been taken, but what I really wanted is right there. That is the fender. That is why I was there, and that came home with me. Would you look at that? Yes siree, Bob, I got all kinds of parts here. $343 worth of stuff, and I hope I can salvage it. If not, I can sell this on the interweb. Yeah, because these parts are worth a lot. But I have, okay, so I have the inner wheel, inner fender liner, because mine is broken up. I have, look at this, it's a pretty good, except for that part right there. It's a steering wheel that's not totally coming apart. I have both of the little trim pieces for the door. Okay, these are like 80 bucks on eBay. So I got both of those. I have this sway bar right there. I have a new door card. Okay, I have a new washer bottle. I have a new tire and a wheel. I have a bumper, a little beat up. Hopefully it's salvageable. And most importantly, right there, hopefully not getting scratched right now, is a new right fender, okay? Lots of parts here. It's been a good day hunting at the LKQ. We're gonna somehow get all of this into there. And look what I dragged, dragged down here to Oklahoma City. Could this mean there is another addition to the monkey wrench mic garage? Is it gonna happen? Well, you're just gonna have to wait and see. Okay, we're gonna put all these things into the car somehow, somehow, and then we're gonna see if we can put something big on the U-Haul. All right, stay tuned. All right, we are back in Tulsa with, look at that, look at that, look at that. Lots and lots of parts for the Crossfire slash Mercedes. In fact, look at this receipt. Look at this. Yeah, still going, still going, still going, still going. That is the longest receipt I have ever received from LKQ. So let's go through some of these parts very, very quickly, okay? What did we get today? Okay, we have a bumper cover $42 and a $6 core. Sway bar, $21 and a $350 core. A door panel, $15 and 25 cents. It's kind of expensive for a door panel. We have a bumper filler for $11. A steering wheel, a steering wheel for only $10.99, $11 right there. Okay, we have a fender for a car, which is $48 and then $8 for a core. Can you see what I'm doing right here? Okay. Then we have a inner fender for $11 and a 150 core, a washer pump bottle, $11 and a 150 core. Air orifice tube. I don't know what that is. An air orifice tube. $8 and a 150 core. Molding, plastic, small, three of them uh, for $3.99, so that's a total of $12. Molding, plastic, medium, one at $7.99. I got a wheel, an aluminum 18 inch wheel for $41 plus a $10 core. Do they charge me for the tire? I don't see the tire. <gasps> How nice is that? Okay, and then I have um, casing for $20. I don't know what that is. And a bracket, medium steel bracket for $6. I don't know. Total for parts, two sixty-five ten. dollars Cores, $32. Environmental fee, 1931, tax 2729 for a grand total. Can you see that? Look at that right there. $343.70. That's a lot of stuff. It's a lot of money too, but it is all right there. You see? 
Okay. Oh, I do want to show you guys one thing. Let me go ahead and get out here and I'll show you what we are missing. Hmm. Um, it something is missing. I came back with an empty U-Haul trailer. I did not get the other car. I wanted the other car and I was messaging the owner of the other car, but it turns out there was a problem with the title. He said that there was a lien on there and we could just pay off the lien and then, you know, get the title. Well, I was messaging him on the way there and he said, well, we may have a problem. I owe more than what I'm selling the car for. Yeah, thanks, buddy. So he said he promised that he would actually uh, pay down the loan that he has on the car and he would sell me the car for even cheaper, which is fantastic um, if it works out like that. But I'm not going to hold my breath, okay? So unfortunately, I dragged, drug, dragged, dragged. Yeah, I'm in the news. I should know this. I dragged the trailer down to Oklahoma City and I dragged it back or I drug the trailer down to Oklahoma City and I drug it back. I think we're gonna go ahead and wrap up this video. Once again, empty trailer, but a full SUV. This thing is full. See all those parts, all those little bits and pieces and all that kind of stuff. I still have the old parts from the car that I took off. I have the uh, leftovers and then I have um, all the new stuff that I bought. So thank you for watching. Appreciate your attendance here during this video. We're gonna have some fun with this crossfire. I guarantee you that. All right, everybody, I'm Monkey Wrench Mike. Have a great day, bye.